Hey guys, Becky Zinn here again, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about watermarks, how to create them and why you need them. A watermark is just a simple way to mark an image and change the thumbprint, if you will. When you share an image online, it creates a thumbprint and Facebook and these other social media, Google, all these things can read that image. And if you change it by adding a border or adding a watermark or adding text to it, it changes the whole thumbprint of the image and that makes your image unique. So if multiple people are sharing the same image without it being altered, it can easily be flagged or marked as spam. It could even land you in Facebook jail and nobody wants to be in Facebook jail. So you wanna watermark it. But also remember, you need to have permission to change or alter any image. So if it's not your image, make sure you have permission to do so. Let's get started. All you're gonna have to do is go to canva.com, use a free account, once you've logged in, you'll see everything you see here. Go up and hit create a design. We're gonna do a social media size. So I'm gonna type in social and it should come up 1080 by 1080. And then I'm just gonna go to my uploaded files. I've already uploaded some images I want to watermark. And I do have permission to alter these and watermark them. Um, let's not do that one. Let's do, let's do this one. And we're gonna simply just drag and drop so it automatically crops it to the exact size. We're gonna go over here to the left and click the text box. I'm gonna grab this middle, add a subheading text box. I know that I like that style, that font, but you can go up here to the top and click any of these fonts. These ones that have the crowns are for the premium um, or their pro account, but there's plenty of fonts to choose from. I always love Copper Hewitt. It's one of my faves. So I'm gonna grab that. And now my watermark today, you can use your website, you can use your business name, you can, you can use whatever you want. I am gonna use my social media handle because that's where I want them to come back to. And if anybody finds this image, I want them to go check me out on social media. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit and we're gonna just turn it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it over here, right about there. And that's it. It's watermark, you guys. Now that little text box will completely change the identity of this image as far as social media is concerned, and it will be my own unique image. All we have to do is download it, hit the down arrow, hit download, and you are ready to share on social media. I hope this was helpful to you guys, and make sure you're watermarking your images. Have a good day.